Happy Birthday, Dr. Montessori. Dr. Maria Montessori's birthday is today, August 31st. But why should we celebrate her birthday? Here are three reasons. Number one, she opened the world's eyes to the untapped potential of children. Before Dr. Montessori, most adults saw children as tiny people who had to be molded into shape by grown-ups. Because if children had their way, the thinking goes, they'd just fool around. Yet, as Dr. Montessori taught, and as experience and research has now proven, children actually crave real learning and engaging work. Instead of treating them like needy, dependent boys and girls who want to play all day, Dr. Montessori saw their future potential as confident, independent young men and women. She approached these little ones with respect, with dignity, with self-directed work that was made just for them in areas such as math, language, geography, art, and even on chores such as sweeping the floor. Montessori children love the work they do, and as a result, they often achieve tremendous success, which leads us to the next reason for celebrating Dr. Montessori's birthday. Number two, she contributed to the achievements of men and women who amazed us in the past and who thrill us today. For instance, Julia Child, considered one of the greatest chefs in history, said that the hands-on Montessori schooling of her childhood perhaps influenced her to create a career out of cooking. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the famed author and Nobel Prize winner, puts it a bit more strongly, quote, I do not believe there is a method better than Montessori for making children sensitive to the beauties of the world and awakening their curiosity regarding the secrets of life. Catherine Graham, publisher of the Washington Post for over two decades, called the Montessori method her, quote, stock and trade. Will Wright, computer game designer of The Sim, said, quote, Montessori taught me the joy of discovery. Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google, quote, I benefited from the Montessori education, which in some ways gives the students a lot more freedom to do things at their own pace, to discover. Some of the credit for the willingness to go on your own interests you can tie that back to that Montessori education. Incidentally, Larry Page, the other co-founder of Google, was also a Montessori child. An NBA superstar, Steph Curry, quote, Montessori has helped me become the person I am today. Now to the last reason for celebrating Dr. Montessori's birthday. Number three, she helped us to better ourselves as grown-ups by teaching that real growth never ends. Dr. Montessori is known primarily for her work with children, but she also had tremendous insight into adults, often reminding teachers and parents to know thyself. Here she is discussing the importance of being comfortable with mistakes. Quote, supposing we study the phenomenon of error, it becomes apparent that everyone makes mistakes. This is one of life's realities, and to admit it is already to have taken a great step forward. If we are to tread the narrow path of truth, we have to agree that all of us can err. So it is well to cultivate a friendly feeling towards error, to treat it as a companion inseparable from our lives. Whichever way we look, a certain Mr. Error is always to be seen. If we seek perfection, we must pay attention to our defects, for it is only by correcting these that we can improve ourselves. So many people today want to fix others, whereas Dr. Montessori forever taught us that the best way to improve the world around us is to first look within and improve ourselves. For these three reasons and so many more, happy birthday, Dr. Montessori. <laughs>